Because with one phone call, I can make the rest of your life a living hell. See you around, Captain. So, you're out. The homeland? Yeah. Yeah, baby on the way. It's probably not for me. You? Oh, I'm giving it some thought. Giving it a lot of thought. Wait a second. You're not seriously thinking. I've been here longer than you've been alive, Henry. Maybe it's time I moved on. No, no, it is not time. It is not that time. No, you can show your human face outside these doors, walk the streets in daylight. So can you, with a hoodie. You're gonna be a father, Henry. And this new place is where I have to be. So that's it, then. You're just gonna leave. You know I've always wanted to be free. This is my chance. I'm leaving. Is it set? This afternoon. Good. And I'll expect Helen Magnus in an interrogation room by the end of the day. And then I'm done. Come on, William. We already went this round. I just crawled up and down a former colleague. I blackmailed her. All in a day's work. I'll bring in Magnus. As soon as I get the answers I need, I'm done. With her, with you. Everything. Miss Freeland. <laughs> Coming along nicely. Everything on schedule? Yeah. The sleeping quarters in the East Wing will be ready by tonight. Magnus said you would be an asset. She was right. Is he on the surface? No. Soon. I just came out to help out. Kate Freelander, Hollow Worth consultant. Then you're going back down, huh? <laughs> well, maybe not. If this thing works out, everyone may decide to live on the surface, including Garrus, which is cool with me, because, uh... We set the date. You're invited, of course. You know, maid of honor. Congratulations, Kate. I'm very happy for you. See, that was supposed to be your line. That sounds nice. <laughs> what is up with you anyway? You've gone all silent and weird, even for you. Go back to the sanctuary. Go back to your man. Your place is not here. Captain? Hey, thanks for coming. You wanted to see me? Yeah. A few problems came up with the mayor's office. Look, if this has anything to do with the homeland progress, I can assure you that we... Will. I'm sorry. Bloody hell. Don't run, Magnus. I just want to talk to you.
Get out of the car! You really don't want to do this, Will. You left me no choice. Helen Magnus, you're under arrest. You're gonna restrain me. Should I? Oh, definitely. Magnus, don't do this. Sorry, Will. Convinced yet? That Magnus is a terrorist and she's working for the abnormal cause? No. That she's got an agenda that I'm not quite clear on yet? Yes. Well, time's up. According to whose clock? Look, I gave you a shot, you crashed and burned. Now it's my turn. Man, you are loving this, aren't you? As a matter of fact, I was hoping it would never get to this point. Now I have no choice. argument with a friend. You know, I never thought I'd live to see this day. Word is spreading. More arriving by the hour. And if occupancy continues to grow at this rate, the facility won't be able to handle the capacity. Then we'll expand? Well, I think that's a bit premature. Perhaps we should start diverting the overflow to other sanctuaries. No. This is our homeland. But we may have to start turning some away. We're making history here. If we pull back, we weaken our position. But if the logistics become untenable, We'll then make it work. We're not turning anyone away. Do you have a moment? I should have come to you first. There wasn't time. I can talk in front of Caleb. All right, then. I hope you know that I would never try to stand in your way. I do. Just wasn't. Things happened quickly. Felt right. So you've made your decision. This is my home now. Of course. It won't be the same without you. That is correct, sir. We are a go. Who is that? I do too, sir. Who was that? The president? What the hell's going on, Addison? 11th hour scenario. Been in the planning stages for a long time, just never seemed logistically feasible. I mean, how do you coax a large number of abnormals into one condensed area away from prying civilian eyes? Homeland. Thank <laughs> you. 
here live on the scene of what authorities are calling the largest toxic industrial spill in recent history. Residents of Old City are being warned to stay clear of the area which stretches from the terminal development at 89th and Riverside and as far west as Bridge Park. With a 10-block radius under police cordon for public safety, all traffic has been redirected to alternate routes. We've received further information from the hazardous materials cleanup team that the source of the toxic spill is a decommissioned sewage processing plant. Due to the risk of contaminated water and possible airborne bacteria, the area has been fully evacuated and secure cordon in place. Access to the affected area is limited to emergency personnel. The safety cordon around the leaking sewage plant has been extended due to a dangerous level of radon. Please do not return to the area until we receive the all clear from Captain Franklin's office. Holy crap. You see what they're doing? Dear God. They just turned it into a prison. Of course they have. Doc, where are you going? You're just gonna wall people in there? When word gets Our out media of cover story about the toxic spill is already in play. If we say the sky is pink, the sky is pink. Since when? When did this become a police state? It's always been a police state, Will. You just never noticed. The point is, we are now in control of the situation again. And Helen Magnus is finally out of moves. Turn that up. Far more insidious. Doctor, care to elaborate? What the hell is that crazy broad doing now? I realize that what I'm about to say may sound strange or even frightening. But I assure you, every word is true. Oh, Magnus. It's time the world knew the truth. This district is full of strange beings who have lived among us for hundreds of years. I call them abnormals. You know them as monsters. And they very much exist.